guys, it's Wednesday. I sure hope you took advantage of today and got to be outside and play. It's absolutely a gorgeous day. You know, last Sunday, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I skipped a video I wanted to show you. We talked about the Israelite people crossing the Jordan River, but I didn't show you the video. So tonight I want to show you the video and we'll watch it and then we're going to talk about it when we're done. God had promised Abraham that his descendants would live in Canaan. After wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, it was time for the remaining people to enter Canaan. Moses was dead, and God chose Joshua to be the new leader of Israel. God told Joshua, be strong and courageous. Now the only thing keeping the Israelites from the land God promised to them was the Jordan River. The river was deep and wide. The Israelites could never get across on their own, but God was going to help them. God told Joshua and the other leaders what to do. The leaders obeyed God. The priests carried the ark of God ahead of the people to the edge of the river. The ark reminded them that God was with them. The rest of the Israelites followed behind the ark. Joshua said, listen, God is going to do something great. When these men carry the ark of God into the river, God will stop the water in the river. Then you will know God is with us. The people watched. The priest carrying the ark took a step into the river. God made the water stop. The priest stood on dry ground in the middle of the river and all of the Israelites crossed safely on dry ground. God told Joshua, tell the people to take 12 stones from the middle of the river where the priests are standing with the ark. They should carry the stones with them and put them down where they spend the night tonight. God wanted the stones to be a memorial. A memorial is something that helps people remember a person or something that happened. The people would see the stones and remember that God helped them cross the river. In the future, when the children saw the stones and said, why are these rocks here? The people could tell their children that God stopped the water and everyone would know that God is mighty. The Israelites did exactly what God told them to do. They picked up 12 huge stones and made a memorial. The priests with the ark crossed the river and the water began to flow again. The river was deep and wide like it had been before. At last, God's people were in the promised land. God went ahead of Joshua and the Israelites into the promised land. He showed his power to them so they would trust in him. When Jesus came to earth, he showed his power so people would trust in him and be saved from sin. So when the priest carrying the ark stepped into the edge of the water, what happened? Do you remember? The water stopped running. This allowed the Israelite people to walk across the riverbed on dry land. Everyone walked across, but Joshua had 12 men, one from each tribe, do something really strange. He told them to pick up a rock from the riverbed where the priests were standing. And then he wanted them to carry that rock to where they were gonna stay for the night and put it down and make a pile. That pile would become a memorial. Do you know what a memorial is? A memorial is something that helps people to remember something that you don't ever want to forget. Joshua knew that the people, when they saw that stack of rocks, would remember what God had done for them, that he parted the Jordan River and that they walked across on dry land. And he also knew that when people who didn't know what those rocks were for would ask, what is that pile of rocks doing here? And then the Israelites could take advantage of that and tell the people who ask, here's what happened. 
God parted the Jordan so that we could cross on dry land. It was something Joshua never wanted the people to forget. So have you ever seen a memorial? There's lots of them all around. I've been to the Oklahoma City bombing memorial that helps us to remember the people that died in that bombing. I've been out to Memorial Park outside of town and, and walked by the uh, grave sides of people and remembered those people and how much they meant to me and what they did for me. Some of you maybe have gone to one of the memorials in Washington, D.C. There's lots of them there. A memorial, again, is just anything that helps us to remember an event or a person and what they did and what it meant for us. I know that if you come to church on Sundays, you see a memorial every week. Let me show you this. Do you recognize it? It doesn't look exactly like the one at church, but we have communion, crackers, and juice here. This is a memorial service, one that Jesus said, I want you to do this. I want you to meet together and remember what I did for you. So he took the crackers, the bread, and he broke it. And said, so let that remind you of the body that, my body that will be broken on the cross for you. He took the communion juice, the wine, see how red it is? And said, let that remind you of the blood that I'm going to shed for you. He wants us to remember what he did for us. And when people who don't know what Jesus did for us see us taking communion, we can tell them, this is what Jesus did for us. He shed his blood and his body was broken. They can, we can use communion just like they use that pile of rocks to teach others about what Jesus did for us. The memorial today was made of rocks, rocks that were picked up when the Israelite people crossed the Jordan River. They were, must have been amazed at what God was doing. Here's what I want you to do tonight, or tomorrow, or sometime this week. Let your mom and dad know, and maybe take them with you, and go on a walk. And when you're on this walk, I want you to look around and be amazed at the world that God has made. And I want you to be looking for a rock, a rock that you can pick up and let it remind you of the wonderful things you saw on your walk today. So let's go for a walk. Just a few months ago, the trees were bare and now look, they're covered with leaves. I was following a butterfly over here. I think he must have been over here by my yellow plant. They're starting to bloom. I can hear the birds chirping. On my walk, I also saw the beautiful peacock that lives at my house. Wonder what God was thinking when he made that bird. Look how blue the sky is. And the clouds just look like cotton balls stuck up there, don't they? a bird on the fence and out in the pasture way out there the sheep I'm amazed at even the wildflowers how beautiful they are I stopped over by this oak tree because I saw some rocks but when I bent down to pick one I also saw lots of acorns on the ground see them those fell from the tree, and I also noticed a whole lot of little oak trees that have sprouted up all around. And I'm just reminded how God scatters the trees and, and puts them everywhere he wants. Look how many oak trees are in my yard now. There's a whole bunch over there. Oh, I think I see a rock too I'm gonna pick up. See that little one right there? That little round one? That's the one I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna put it by my bed, and when I see it, I'm gonna remember this walk and the beautiful world that I saw that God made. I hope you do the same thing. Go out and look at the beautiful world God made Pick up a rock that will remind you of this trip, this walk you took today. Let's thank God for the beautiful world. Help us to remember Him always. Dear God, we love you so much. Thank you for the world you made. 
and all you've done for us. Help us to never forget you and your powerfulness and your goodness and how great you are. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you Sunday.